This magnificent and colourful beast is my larger Albion press, um, platen size of 24 by 18 inches and made by Matthews and Son we think in 1902. It's had light use since it's been here and it's about time it started to earn its keep so I need to cover the tympan today. This is my smaller Albion press dating from 1865. The tympan here is just covered in strong brown paper and uh, what I'm going to do now is to go off into the house and do the same for the tympan of the big press. Well here we are, I've laid out the, the metal frame of the, the tympan here. As you can see it's got two metal counterweights. They're stuck on pretty firmly. I'm not going to, to bother to take those off. I'm just going to work around having them there. This frame is actually in very good condition compared with the other Albion. So what I'm going to do now is to unclip the two parts and separate them. The whole thing is about uh, two feet by two and a half feet so it's going to be quite a job. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut some brown paper to fit. Well I've laid the iron tympan frame onto a piece of strong brown paper and I've simply cut round it and I've made these flaps which can go over and can stick. I've also cut some lengths of adhesive brown paper tape which I'm going to use to, to reinforce that. Now we want this to be as tight as anything so what I'm going to do now is to soak the paper so it goes on wet then hopefully will dry um, very very tight indeed. I'm giving the paper a good soaking with water using this spray bottle which was bought inexpensively at a gardening store. Okay. I'm just brushing PVA glue across the paper here. I brushed that all around and what I'm going to do now is to start to, to fold the paper over and, and glue it in position on the other side. Okay, I'm going to work my way around now. I've been all around now. What I'm going to do is to get these adhesive paper strips and put them on just to, to reinforce that. The whole thing's still pretty damp, but uh, I'm going to give it another spray in a moment to make sure it's absolutely soaking. I'm just smoothing the the last of these strips into place. And here we can now see the, the whole covered timber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a, another good spray on both sides and then set it aside to dry for several hours. In fact, I don't think I'll even disturb it now until tomorrow morning. Where I hope that's going to be as tight as a drum. And here's the second part of the tympan covered. Um, this is flatter, this is easier. I saved the easy one to last. And I'm just going to give it a, a good dousing of water on both sides and then set it out to dry again until tomorrow. Here we are the next day and everything looks like it's dried very well indeed. Let's have a look at this. Wonderfully drum-like, nice and taut. And the space in between, what we're going to do now is to fill that space with some newspaper. I've been folded newspaper sheets in the central portion of this. Even my largest engravings aren't particularly large, so I don't really need to go right to the edges. And now to clip on the other part. Okay, that's the last clip in place, and that job's done now, so uh, what I'm going to do now is to go and fix it to the large Albion, and we'll give it a try out. 
the mechanism of attaching the, the tympan is pretty straightforward. Uh, these screws just tighten up against it and they uh, tighten up into little lugs in the tympan itself and the whole thing just hinges. And here's the whole thing in place. And uh, I'll just flip this down and wind the bed underneath. I like to, to set a mark where the platen is pretty much central over the tympan and then I make a line and uh, when I'm printing that's the, the line that I like to, to take the, the bed through to every time that I pull a particular print. So hopefully that's the, the big 1902 Albion in operation now. I've used it a little bit just having a, a pad on top of the block but it, it's it's not satisfactory especially if you're going to pull a, a whole edition or even a fairly small run of prints. It's uh, really nice to be able to put the, the make ready on the tympan and just have the, the control set up um, for a, a perfect run. Okay, back to printing I think.